MovieWeb.com. Halloween. So, uh, did you have to learn how to avoid a concussion while making this film? <laughs> I definitely had a lot of stunts in this film, eh? But, I mean, it is great working with Tyler and being chased by this big man. <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> But I had like a sprained ankle and a lot of bruises. That's about it. You got a sprained ankle out yeah. of filming this? But that was just me running down the stairs, running after Tyler. So, yeah, I got a sprained ankle, but that's about it. Well, how do you compare this to some of the other movies you've worked on, like some of the comedies and stuff? Y you got it. This is definitely different. And working with such icons and Rob Zombie, it's different. And this becoming a family with everybody. I mean, I, this is probably my best project that I've done. So do you feel like you're part of Rob's ensemble now? Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I mean, Rob, I love Rob. Rob's awesome. Well, your two co-stars get topless, and I'm wondering if <laughs> you keep in line with Jamie Lee Curtis's uh, character in the original. She never gets topless, mm -mm. and neither do you. Was that intentional? You know, I'm going to no? say, yeah, Lori, Lori Stroh can't be topless. There's no <laughs> way. They, she's still she's a wholesome girl. She's the, the one that lasts. She can't be topless. No, but it was interesting filming those scenes with the other girls, and wondering if I'm ever going to do that in my career <laughs> and seeing how comfortable they are. Danielle is definitely comfortable. I mean, she's, you know, so professional. Christina was a little hesitant at first, but she got used to it. You kill at the end of this movie. Mm. And if you do a sequel, there's a possibility that could have changed your character to push her over the top. Exactly. Definitely, Laurie showed ends a little bit differently than Jamie Lee Curtis did in the original. So do you think you would be back for a sequel if they offered that? You know, I would hope so. And there's definitely the ending. There's a lot more you can do with Laurie Strode. You can make her a little bit more insane or crazy. Did you stick around him, or did you kind of try to stay away from him? Yeah, me and Tyler, we, we actually we watched Clockwork Orange in his trailer one night when we had, like, two hours while they were filming Malcolm McDowell scenes. Mm -hmm. And we would play football, and we would talk about his kids, and I'd talk about my, my home life and stuff. and. He was kind of like my big brother on set. So you were never physically scared of his presence in those I scenes? I was. Or did you... <laughs> I'm actually just seeing him in the mask and a tall guy holding a knife. It's kind of intimidating sometimes. It got to me a few times. What is that like when you have to act against somebody, when you're just acting against their eyes and their presence and there's no real dialogue between you two? You know, you definitely go to a place that you don't want to be at. Sometimes I've, I've found it a little hard to pull back. That's why Rob would say, okay, let's do another take. You got this. Let's do it more. But, you know, working with Tyler and all done up and just seeing his eyes, I mean, it's scary. Even offset, it's scary seeing him. But he takes that mask right off after every scene. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the little, I can't pronounce his name. Dig. Dig. Dig was it. he ever there when you guys were filming that stuff? Or did they haul him away and keep you him know, locked up? You know, he was him? there and he's such a sweetheart. He's really sweet. And I remember going in and seeing a scene with Malcolm, Sherry, and him. And seeing him just be all weird and scary and screaming at the top of his lungs. And he just transformed into the scary little kid. It was a little intimidating and seeing him, you know, afterwards saying please and thank you. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> well, I just met, um, was Malcolm McDowell in the other room and he's kind of intimidating. Were you ever intimidated by him? Yeah, no, yeah. Doc I mean, Dr. Loomis, I was definitely intimidated by Malcolm McDowell. But I've been a fan of Malcolm McDowell and he's a great guy. He's a very sweet guy. 